This is a, a quick demonstration of progress in the uh, trans wing, uh, petrodynamics trans wing aircraft. So um, as I showed a, a video the other day of um, the first flight in the simulator, the trans wing, and the transitions were extremely rough, really uh, very large uh, disturbances and uh, lack of control during the forward transitions. So if you didn't watch that video, I'll just show you here the, the uh, what this aircraft does. So this is a, a tilt wing, uh, sorry, uh, it's a rotating wing that folds in a, with an incredibly clever design between being a multi-rotor and being a fixed wing aircraft. And uh, it makes for an overall very efficient package. So uh, what we're going to be doing, this is going to be the first demonstration of a fully automatic mission. So this is running ArduPilot, obviously. It's just running standard ArduPilot master code. We haven't as yet changed any code. We've just done some tuning on the transition code for the existing tilt rotor, tilt wing code that's already supported in standard ArduPilot. And uh, here's the, the path in, um, in that it's going to be flying. And um, this waypoint here is just a, a do land start marker. It's not one of the main waypoints. So it flies this, this path here, take off, fly forward, do a few turns, come back and land vertically again at the same point it took off. So I'll go ahead and do the, do the flight. And you can, you'll hopefully see that the uh, control is a lot better than it was um, in the test that I showed uh, in yesterday's video. So what it's doing now is it's folding its wings out for forward transition. And you can see there that the transition is really quite smooth. Um, it's very much in control. What you want in an aircraft like this is for the control to be confidence inspiring. You want the people on the ground to look at it and think, yes, that autopilot knows what it's doing and it's, it's you know, achieving what it wants to achieve. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean the sharpest turns or the fastest speeds. Um, you want it to be efficient and confidence inspiring. All right, so here it is coming into the, the final leg. So it's going to do a final right hand turn here to line up and then it's going to start the back transition. And the back transition is definitely the worst part of this at the moment. So you'll see it coming in here and a little bit of oscillation there. You see some pitch oscillation as it slows itself down and it doesn't have the advantage of the uh, momentum drag you get in uh, quad planes for the slowdown. It works a little bit differently and we've definitely got some more tuning to be done on that back transition. But it does come back and land in the same location and that is entirely repeatable. So um, we're now a lot more confident and of course we're going to be, you know, this is only a few days into the project. We're sure that the, the flight control is going to improve by a lot from this point. So uh, thank you for watching and watch out for more videos in the future.